in this video, we are going to prove L'Hopital's Rule. So L'Hopital's Rule says that um, we need continuous functions f and g on a closed interval a to b, and they need to be differentiable on a, the open interval from a to b. If we have a place where in that interval a to b, where f of c and g of c are both equal to zero. Uh, suppose also that the derivative of g is not zero for some value of x in this set u, where u is an intersection of the open interval from a to b and some deleted neighborhood of c. All right, Whew. so if we have that, if the limit of the ratio of the derivatives of f of x and g of x as x approaches c is equal to some number l, uh, where l is a real number, then the limit of the ratios of f of x over g of x um, as x approaches c is also equal to l. Right? So we can take uh, our derivatives, the derivatives, the limit of the ratio of the derivatives is the same as the ratio of the original functions, provided the original functions um, had ratios 0 over 0, had that indeterminate form. All right, so let's prove this. Let x sub n be a sequence in u. Uh, that converges to C. Then we can apply the Cauchy mean value theorem to F and G on the intervals on the intervals x sub n to c sub n, uh, x sub n to c, or c to x sub n, to, obs to obtain a sequence. Let's call the sequence a sequence of c sub n's with C sub n living in, uh, living between X sub n and C for each n. Uh, such that f of x sub n minus f of c g prime of c sub n is equal to g of x sub n minus g of c f prime of c sub n. Right, so we are choosing, we're building the sequence the way we're choosing those terms. We're choosing those terms according to the Cauchy mean value theorem, uh, so that these are the terms in the interval, depending on whether x sub n is bigger than c or not. Uh, it'll be either larger than c or it'll be less than c, uh, and we know that there's a value c sub n in that interval such that all of this would be true. Uh, for, e for every single one of those closed intervals. Right. So that's what we're doing. That's how we are building the sequence. Since we know that g prime of x is not 0, since g prime of x is not 0 for every single choice of x and u, and g of c is actually equal to 0 
we must have so we must have um, g of x sub n is not equal to zero for all n. And this comes from Rolle's theorem. Thus, since f of c is equal to g of c is equal to zero, we have f of x sub n over g of x sub n is equal to f of x sub n minus f of c over g of x sub n minus g of c, which would just be our derivative at c sub n over the derivative of g at c sub n. For every single choice of n, Uh, furthermore, x sub n is converging to c, and c sub n is between x sub n and c. between x sub n and c. So it follows uh, so it follows that c sub n is converging to c as well. Thus, when we take a look at the limit of f of c sub n over g of c sub n, that is equal to L, but since f of c sub n over g of c sub n is equal to f of x sub n, over g of x sub n, we have that the limit of f of x sub n over g of x sub n is also equal to L. So that the limit f of x over g of x as x approaches c is equal to L also. Sweet. L'Hopital's rule is correct. Uh, so we can roll through and everything that we have believed and used with L'Hopital's rule uh, through our calculus days uh, we can use those confidently. Uh, those uh, L'Hopital's rule is provable, and we have just done so. All right, we'll talk to you guys next time.